I'm taking a little bit of a break from everything right now. This is the um, the alley called Callejón de la Bayoneta, where I'm where I'm staying um, down the alley, um, which is the same place that um, that I stayed at when I came last time and Joyce was here. Um, I'm gonna take a break. The smell of food, like grilled meat, and just this aroma of spices and meats is coming from that place over there. Let me show you. And I've eaten there. There's a, there's a friend of Desmond's that, um, <coughs> a friend of Desmond works there. Very nice man. Uh, one of the only a few gay Mexicans I know so far, but he's very healthy, he's a massage therapist, very interesting man. So I had some food there, wonderful, um, <coughs> how do you call it? Beans, um, frijoles charros, which would be like cowboy beans in a soup with meat, awesome. But anyways, right now I'm standing in this corner because I know that, um, I know that Marcos is coming down the street. And I told him I would meet him here, and we're gonna go see. We're gonna go see his new house uh, that he just rented with a friend of his, who's also a friend of Dima. Her name is Ophelia, and uh, they just rented a, a place together because Marcos, uh, Marcos was asked to, you know, to move because the owner's uh, daughter has a, a baby and she wants to move in. So after three, three and a half years, Marcos has to. Uh, has to move and they just found a place for 4,000 pesos a month and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna walk and uh, see his their place and apparently they have enough room on on the street level to have a gallery and um, and they have each uh, a couple of rooms and one and a half bathrooms so they're very very happy about it so uh, I'm just going to walk with them, chill out, maybe buy uh, one of those family size Corona bottles on the way. I don't have the empties this time. But, um, but let's, I want to see their place because they both sound really happy and uh, you know the problem is solved. And maybe they'll have room for Dima's work too, which take, you know, takes me off the hook too because I have no room. But anyways, it's been a good day so far. It's a little bit humid because it has rained. And I just put a laundry load on. I'm doing laundry for the first time, and uh, and I'm doing so saving a quick time movie for part number eight, and so this will be part number nine. So let's go see Marcus' place. So we got a change of plan. Uh, we, didn't, uh, we didn't go see Marco's house, but we came to La Cucaracha instead. And uh, there's Marco's again. Um, this is Ophelia. Hola, Ophelia. So Ophelia and uh, Marcos have just rented and Oscar. Hola, Oscar. How's that? Um, Ophelia and Marcos have just rented a house and they're very happy and it seems they have room for a gallery, an art gallery and everything. So there's, the, there's the man, there's the back room there where the, the man played domino. And um, the rule is supposed to be that you're, you're not supposed to smoke here anymore. But uh, I think Ophelia was having a cigarette. Anyways, there's lots of paintings, very tacky things. But there is a good painting that I'll show you in one second by a good Mexican painter. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And there's, by the way, this is Thursday. So there's free food in those buckets. All you need to do is buy a beer and you have, uh, you know, buckets of food. There's rice. Let's see, there's, there's rice, tortillas, meat. There's nopales. Those are uh, cactus there. Anyways, um, we are uh, having a drink, and, uh, and then I'm going to go home and finish uh, the QuickTime movies. Uh, and 
Adam said it to some of the Joyce and Adam, and Patty, and my sister Marcella, but uh, it was a good day. I did something. <laughs> See their house, baby. Take a good look at this washroom we have at La Cucaracha. It's, uh, it's worthy of a uh, Robert Rodriguez film. Robert Rodriguez. And um, over here. Oh shit, they painted it over. They painted my fucking, fucking message over. Fuckers. Trough is where you kiss. I'm not gonna even fucking bother. So, anyways, that is the Kukaracha Wash. Hey. I what? asked you for a portrait of your son. I know, and I have not you given you the photograph yet. No, you but maybe take... you can he can pose for you when you when he comes this winter, right? Yeah. Maybe another one. But right now maybe you could you could take him one. Yeah. Okay, so, nice. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Not this time. No? Well, I'm just filming here. Marco's talking to me, but I'm not paying any attention. <laughs> but uh, there's Ophelia. We're going to walk all the way to uh, Marco and Ophelia's house. And it's a beautiful night. It's uh, it's raining a little bit right now. And uh, let's see if I can do this. You can see the hole in my head. <laughs> I have a hole in my head too. The beautiful door. So I'm in the, in the middle of the street, kind of wondering which way we're gonna go. Now, <clears throat> this is the kind of place, Joyce, that um, that you would be if it was any darker. <laughs> You'd be freaking out here. <laughs> but this is good. This is a good neighborhood. This is uh, called Guadalupe. And uh, we're going to go follow Marcos now, who's waiting there at the corner, wondering what the hell I'm doing in the middle of the street. And I guess we'll always recognize where Marcos lives, because there's the blue cross on the church there, up ahead. <laughs> 